what's up guys JB Tech here so I've been getting a lot of questions about how did I customize my icons like I did down here as you see it does have like a little tilt effect which is also called the cover flow effect like you do see on the music app but also people have been asking me about this JB Tech service provider uh, actually that service provider is actually ten dollars a month and you can just simply sign up for it on www. I'm joking. Anyways, all this is actually possible with a simple Cydia app called Springtimize 2. And let me just show you real quick. Sim Symptomize, Sp Symptomize, <laughs> Springtimize 2. It's available from the Big Boss repo for $2.99. And there goes my water bottle. Thank you, water bottle, for messing up my shot. Anyways, <laughs> back to this. This app is actually really really awesome because it's probably the only app you will need to fully customize your springboard your icons and stuff like that and your lock screen and let me just show you how this works so once you do download it you will get this app right here and you can actually access this through the settings app and then once you do have this open you do have to enable this right here for all of these to work of course so we go down to animations well let me just demonstrate or show you how many stuff you can actually change you got animations, you got capabilities, dock, lock screen, icons, folder, app switcher, time machine, status bar, pages, theming, notification center. Whoa, that was a lot of things to say. But anyways, so let's go ahead and open up animations. You do have different animations here you can set. And I just covered this couple of them actually. Here's the old TV animation, which is pretty cool. So whenever you do lock your screen or as you see there, it does open up or it does lock. I mean, I can't even speak today. Anyways, go like that. And then you do see a different lock animation. So that's pretty awesome. And then down here, you can actually change the screenshot flash because whenever you click on the home button and the power button, you do get the white flash. You can actually change the color to black, gray, white, green, red, blue, and all that. Look at that. There's a lot of color selections anyways let's go back and then go to capabilities here you will have to turn this on for these to work so once you do that you can actually set this to have the home screen wallpaper on or off and then the voice control you can turn that off multitasking to turn that off HDR turn that off panorama pano, pano, ugh, I can't speak guys I'm sorry panorama I don't even know if I said that right just now. But anyways, front camera, SMS, and all this. And then you can just go back, and then we will go to dock. Dock is where actually that those icons come to effect. So as you see, I have the color flow effect on, and that's what makes it look pretty cool like I have them. And then you can also hide the dock, which would hide, of course, that little transparent dock that it's sitting on. And then also hide labels, which of course is going to be the labeling. And then hide the reflection of the icons or use custom numbers. So it would be like one, two, three, four, whatnot. And then icons in the dock. You can actually set how many docks, how many icons in the dock you want to have. So, and then we go down here to lock screen. Here you'll be able to display the seconds, always charging. So it'll act like it's always charging to have that little battery on there you can always show your wallpaper disable the camera button so whenever you double tap on the home button while you're on the lock screen it won't pop up or you can have it so it will always show the camera so what else what else disable artwork we do have down here in the slider where you can hide the knob which was actually the slider knob or you can customize label and then I did have since iPhone.com on there you can also check that website out for more jailbreaks and all that stuff that's where I blog and everything is cool website you should t totally check that out but anyways sorry I got off topic we can go back go to icons and then we'll go to hide labels you can hide the labels you can lock from moving the apps anywhere or disable the jittering so whenever you're trying to delete any apps or anything like that or disable uninstalling so you won't be able to uninstall any apps and then all this stuff disable all the badges 
And then here you can actually resize the icons. I did have my icons smaller, but I kind of got tired of that. But you can actually resize the icons or resize the dock icons and then the switcher icons. Of course, these are going to be the switcher icons down here at the bottom. But yeah. And then we can also hide newsstand. I have that hidden because I never use that. And you can also have an option to hide spring to mize because you can always access this through settings. So, and then here's another little thing you can do. You can tap on enable down here and then choose icons of which ones you want to enable or which ones you actually want to hide. So you can hi hide all of these actually. But I think I did, I tried to check that out. I did try to hide an icon or two or an app but I wasn't even able to access it through like searching the app or anything. So it acted like if it wasn't even on my phone. So I don't know if you want to hide any important apps that you want to access, but we'll go down here to folders, folders, close box, and then hide preview, disable animation, and then hide the background, hide label, Disable badges, auto close, create in dock so you can create folders in the dock. And then you can use custom numbers, so label them one, two, three, four, five, whatever, whatever. And then icons per line, you can set that however many you want. And then we go down here to app switcher, landscape switcher. I have this on, so whenever you do have your phone turned sideways and you're on like a game or something, you can actually double tap this. But of course, I don't have it. I'm not playing a game or anything that's in this view. But whenever you do have it in, in landscape mode, you will be able to double tap on that. And then you will have all that. Let me, I'm trying to do this one hand. Sorry, guys. You will have the multitasking switcher down here at the bottom. So it's pretty neat. And then what else do we got here? Let's see. Where I totally got lost. Oh, I was on the first one. Start editing. You can... I actually don't know what that does. Disable paging. Start with iPod. Um, I'm kind of lost right now, guys. Anyways, let's see. Brightness slider, custom icon number. There's so many things you can do on here. I've, I've checked much, most of these out, but then again, I haven't checked most of them. And then we do... Here, let me show you. We do go down here to Time Machine. And then this actually backs up your stuff. So you can simply enable whichever one you want to back up and then you can save and then restore it back whenever you open up spring to mize however you want the icons to be or the wallpaper how it was or your spring to my settings so you won't have to do this over and over or whatnot and then you can also enable automatic backup so it'll automatically back it up once a day so that's pretty cool now we go down to the status bar status bar is actually where i did a custom carrier right here. I know there's apps like Make It Mine and stuff like that on Cydia that you have to download to customize the carrier and also the time. But with this app, you can actually do it just through this app, which is pretty cool. So custom carrier, I do have JB Tech on there. Custom time, you can set the custom time by just enabling this and then putting your custom time mode. You can either add the free RAM or the Wi-Fi IP or the data IP or the Wi-Fi network instead of your clock or your time. And then we'll go down here. And then I do have airplane mode off. So whenever I do turn this to airplane mode, let me just show you really quick. It Well, actually, I guess I didn't enable it, right? But that was an epic fail. Let's check this out. So airplane mode. Whoops. So normally, it, I don't know why it didn't work this time, but normally it does work. So whenever you do have that on, it won't display that little airplane. And then battery percentage, I do have that off. As you see up here at the top right, I don't have a battery anymore. So that's pretty cool. You can also, you can also change the battery percent so you can turn that off and it won't be anything displayed there. Bluetooth, call forwarding, data network, location, play button rotation button like the little lock screen like whenever you have this turned on it won't display that and then the carrier name signal strength i did take off the signal strength as you can tell up here on the top right or the top left i don't know my left and rights <laughs> anyways 
And then the sync indicator, whenever you're syncing through iTunes, that little syncing thingy, the little arrows won't pop up and all that good stuff. So let's go down to pages. Pages, hide the dots. I do have the dots hidden, as you can tell down here at the very bottom. I don't have any pages right there, the little dots. So I don't, I really didn't care for those, so I just deleted those. And you can also remove page limits, so you can do a limitless amount of pages. So that's pretty cool. Disable spotlight. If you don't know what spotlight is, is this part. That's spotlight right there. You can actually disable that so you won't have to go through that whenever you do click on home and then click on it again and it always goes to spotlight. So let's go down to theming. Here you can set a custom dock. I uh, don't have that enabled. Custom battery and then also icon labels. You can actually customize the font on this. So here's all the fonts you can choose from. You can select that. And then customize the size of the labels of the icons. So you can have huge letters instead of these little white ones. And then you can change the color down here. Instead of white, you can change to red, blue, green, whatever you want. And then icons, the custom opacity. So this would be how, how much you see the icons. If you have it, of course, down to here, you will barely be able to see those. But of course, yeah, you know what opacity is most likely. Now we'll go down to notification center. And then I really didn't mess with this, but instant clear and then custom lines and then max lines. So you'll have more lines to actually view stuff on the notification center. So it's pretty cool guys. And also if you go down here to more, you can actually check out documentation and then it shows you if you didn't kind of understand what I went through, you can actually go in here and it'll show you what they all do. So there you go. You can check that out. But this is Spring to Mice 2. You should definitely check this out. It is available from the Big Boss repo, like I said, for $2.99. So guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that little like button in the bottom left. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions of other apps, other tweaks, or any other kinds of stuff, Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up top. It is free. And you will be notified when I release my latest video. I do release daily City of Tweaks, apps, and all that. Reviews, themes, and all that sorts of stuff. But until next video, guys, I will catch y'all later. Peace.